Okay, so we talked a little bit about rosin, and we talked a little bit about, um, there, I can see everybody a little bit better. We talked a little bit about rosin, we talked about wiping down the instrument, and just general care, and um, how we want to do that. So next, I would like to share a screen with you, and I'd like to do a little bit of rhythm exercise, okay? So um, we'll do a kind of a simple one, but we'll ha it'll be one in which we can all clap together. Okay, so here is the screen share. Okay, ready. Now you all should be seeing a, uh, a, uh, a uh, browser window with a thing that, says, um, thing that says rhythm reading course. Do you all see that? Yeah. yeah. Okay, great. So let's take, a, let's take a look at this one, this rhythm together. I am going to add in a click. Good. Excellent. There we go. There's a little bit of a click going, which is right around, seems about 70 beats a minute. We're going to go right here with, and it's in three, four. Okay, so already, you're already feeling this click and clap. Okay, and we want to clap in time with the rhythm. Can you all hear the click that's going on as well? Yep. Yeah. Okay, great. All right, so here we go. Ready? Let's look at this thing that's in 3-4, and it's going to have half notes, quarter notes, eighth notes, and, um, and a few little offbeats, okay? So we'll start right at the very beginning, and I'll count off a beat. Ready? One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, and three. One, two, three, and one, and two, three. One, two, three, and one, and two, three. Yeah, that's the first line. Okay, now let's, uh, let's see if everybody else can do that with, uh, with you listening to the clap, okay? And I'll just sort of like, I'll just sort of make the, make the, make the movement and hopefully it all lines up a little bit. Now, you probably heard me say one, two, and three, three, and one, and two. What I'm doing is I'm counting which beat the music happens on. So let me bring over this thing over here. <coughs> this, this will take up two beats. So I'll go one, two, three, one, two, and. And that second eighth note is our and, okay? So let's all say that together, ready? One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, and three. One, two, Three and one and two, three, one, two, three and one and two. Let's try that, everybody. And, and just uh, go ahead and say it all together. Ready? One, two, three. One, two, three and one, two and three. Nobody's clapping. Hey, clappers! Hey, I need everybody clapping. Hey, can you? Uh, can you? Let's see here. Uh, would it, somebody like to take a solo? Maybe it might be a little easier in this video conference if one person does it. Anyone want to try? <laughs> Nobody wants to try. Oh, but this is all about musicianship. Uh, in order to in order to understand what you're gonna play. You have to be able to look at this rhythm and say, oh, this, ha this goes this way, okay? Let's all say, uh, which, which beat is, let's try it, let's try this, uh, try it this way. What beat is this one? Beat one. One. How about this? Uh, the end of one. Okay, let's say and. Good. And of one. How about this one? Two. Good. Three. And. And of three. And of three. Now one. Everybody and and two, and two, three, and one. Great. Okay. Super. Now that you're doing an excellent job there, let's try this one. Oh, actually, let's try it from here. Ready? And on what beat is this one? One. Okay. How about this one? And of three. And of three. Good. How about this one? Two. Two. Okay. Uh -huh. 
one. Yes. Now this one is kind of like, I just think of this as like an extra long note. I try and think of it as the equivalent of, say, a dotted quarter. But we can't really write a dotted quarter like we can here because this happens on a different beat. Like this distance, this length of time is the same as this, which is also the same as this. These are all the same length of note, these three right here. But let's all clap this one together and let's see if we can get all together. We're just gonna repeat this, this measure over and over again. One, two, three. One and 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 two, three. Good. All right, excellent. Now let's try this one with the click. You're probably hearing the click, uh, click along with, and you can clap along with over here. Let's try this one. Each one of these is going to be on an and, okay? Let's try this one. And we're just gonna repeat this measure a whole bunch of times. Ready? One, two, three. Go ahead, try it. Some of you are doing a great job. Mm -hmm. Good. And what you're probably hearing through the, the speakers is me, is, is my own playing, right? Or my own clapping. And you're hearing this click, right? And so you're hearing the click. OK. Everybody try that one more time. Ready? Hands up. One. Oh, yeah. And here is the measure that we're talking about right there. One, two, and three. And one. Good. Excellent. Yeah, that's a great one. Now let's go over here. And these are two dotted quarter notes that are the, the same amount of time. And let's repeat this one against a click right here. These are our quarter notes, and those are each dotted quarter equivalents. We're gonna clap like this. One, two, three. Everybody try that. One, two, three. 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 Good job, everybody. Okay, let's grab our cellos up. And I'm gonna turn off this click right here. Excellent. Okay, so. Uh, Good job on the rhythm. You'll find you'll find that when we, as as cellists, we tend to let me uh, cancel out of this. As cellists, we tend to um, play with other people. We play in a section full of cellists, and so it's very easy to become cows. You know this term, cows, like moo. And we just sort of follow along with the herd, and we aren't necessarily paying attention to our own rhythm. But if you can, if you can find a way, uh, work on rhythms yourself and, 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 and build up that ability to look at a rhythm and say, oh, I know how this thing's gonna work. It's gonna be, you know, it's gonna be this. Okay, so next on this is let's do a new scale. And here is that scale. I want to see three octaves of there we go. There's that. Yeah, here we go. Three octaves of C major. And I'm going to, oops, give you this screen in just a second. Delete the copy. There we go. All right. So here is the here is the here is the page in question. All right. 
So do you all see now uh, some music in a scale? Yes. And what I want to do now is play these two lines, and it's a three octave C major scale. And here is the tenor clef. Remember, we worked on this on Friday, but we're going to review because we have new people. Do you know what note this is? Yeah, I hear people playing it. What, what note is that one? It is E. E, very good. And what is this top note? That is a C. That is a C, very good. All right, excellent. So let's play this one. Um, let's do it, yeah, let's do it with the bow. First off, let's review our little, our bow hold. Here we go, I'm gonna cancel out just a little bit here. There we go. Um, all right, here we go. Excellent. So here is our, here is our bow hold that we've got going. And uh, let's take a review. I'm going to hold the bow with my left hand and I'm going to put my thumb in here into the, into the uh, frog sideways so that it doesn't slip through. It's actually kind of bent in uh, and working sideways to the frog. Then I'm going to take my second finger and I'm going to uh, lay it over the stick and onto the frog or onto the ferrule this way. Okay, the ferrule being this metal slider collar piece. Okay, and then these fingers I'm going to roll over onto here and they're nice and loose. Okay, then rest position is at 12 o'clock. Okay, great. So now hold that position just for a moment. I'm going to bring up the screen and let's play some music. Here we go, ready? Big C. D. First finger. Third finger, E. F. Yeah, G. A. B. C. D. everybody. Second finger, F natural. Oh, good job, everybody. Excellent. G, A, B, C. Second finger. Let's everybody get a second finger on that C. Somebody's got a third finger. I need a second finger. Everybody, second finger, and it will blow like this. Yeah. That's great. Then we're going to go up. Here is, uh, here's where we are. This is the note that we're on right now. Okay. Then we're going to go to D, fourth finger, E, first finger, F, second finger. G, fourth finger. Then we're going to go to first finger on the A. That's the last note of the line. Yeah. Everybody try that. It's going to sound like this. Yeah. Good job, everybody. Look at that. You're going to go back to school, and you're going to know how to play up really high, and your teacher's going to go, what? You learn things. This is great, okay? Next line, second line. This is tenor clef, the note is a B. Ready? Good, C. Now back down, second finger, B. A, G. Now this is fourth finger, and it sounds like this. Good. F natural, E, uh huh, D first finger, good, second finger C, now we're in bass clap, B, A, G, F natural, C. 
screenshot of that of that particular thing because I'm going to pull off of that and then I want you to sort of split your screen if you can a little bit uh, put it over on the side so we're going to do that scale again and you can see where my fingers are great what is it command command no, shift four sharing. Oh yeah, if you're on Mac, it is uh, Shift Command Four. Okay. And yeah. if you're on an iOS, it's just the uh, hold down the side button and the front button. Um, I don't know on Windows. Best of luck, everybody. On Windows, it's one of like the F1 keys. Oh yeah, F1. Right. Screenshot. That's pretty cool. Okay. Thanks, everybody. Yeah, if you're on a Windows machine, it's F1. Hang on a second. You bet. I'll take time. Can I do it? Yeah, I got it. I don't know if I got that first. Let me do it one more time. You bet. I heard I heard a good click. Yeah, I think I just didn't grab it from the very tip top. Command shift four. Uh, there we go. Rock and roll. All right. Everybody ready? Okay, I'm going to exit the screen, the screen uh, share, and we're going to come back, and you're going to see a little bit of me. Okay, and what I'm doing is I'm going to have the bow right down here at the midpoint between the fingerboard and the um, and the bridge. So I'm going to get a really big sound. Okay, and I want you to do the same thing. And here's the crazy part: if you are playing cello and you are sitting straight up your cello will be off to the side, which means that your bow will necessarily be pointed, be pointed slightly down. If your bow is straight, like if I'm looking at it straight, notice how the bow is no longer, no longer straight with my cello. But if I'm sitting straight up, I need to take the bow and do that. There you go. And you can actually like, just change the angle of the bow just like this. And the, this is really handy because you can kind of see yourself as well as me. And so what I want the bow to do is be perpendicular, a right angle to the string. 
okay? And it will feel weird. It'll feel really strange, but I think you'll be able to do it, okay? So we're gonna play the same scale, but now I want to see if you can all do it with the bow feeling slightly like the tip is pointed towards the ground, okay? Yeah, it'll feel a little strange at first, but you'll get a much better sound. Ready, everybody? Here we go. Yeah, point that bow down towards the ground or out away from you and C, D, B, F, G, A, B, C. Good, D, open. E, F, G. Just everybody, okay, there we go. Oh good, we got everybody, all right. So let's start on this C again, right here. This is second finger on the A string. Notice how, notice how my bow is pointed down. Like if I were to, if I were to show you the angle here, it looks like it's going quite a bit down. Whereas if it were straight to me, like if it were straight to my eyes and parallel here, it would look like this, okay? But I want to take it and just point it down. Ready? Here's the C. We're going to do the top octave. Ready? And C. D. E. F. G. A. B. C. Yeah, good job. Now, here's what it looks like from this. From, here's, the, here's what it looks like from here. My thumb is hanging out right up here. On the, on the neck, or if I can't quite reach, I let it slide over here. And my fingers are then stretching to reach that C at the top. Let's get that same note, C. Ready, everybody, and C, D, A, G. Good job, today and tomorrow we'll do a little bit more with, with, with rhythm and I'm going to bring in uh, perhaps some kind of pop music beat okay and so I'll see you to uh, see you tomorrow at 10 o'clock have a great day and uh, have lots of fun with cello bye everybody yeah bye thank you thank you <laughs>